your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. We're talking about the work of the Holy Spirit in the early church. Thank you for participating in this study. Why not open your Bibles to Acts chapter 10? Yesterday, we looked at the idea of Holy Spirit baptism in Acts chapter 2. Mark 9, 1 said the kingdom would be established with power. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, the apostles were told to tarry until they received power. And then we see in Acts chapter 2 that they most certainly did receive power and they began to speak in different languages to help facilitate the spread of the gospel message. Now, when we come to Acts chapter 10, we find another instance of Holy Spirit baptism, and it had a specific purpose. There was a problem in the early church, a problem that's probably, it's beyond our comprehension, but it was the Jew-Gentile problem. And in the early church, people thought that Christianity was an outgrowth of Judaism, and, and many Jewish Christians felt that if you wanted to become a Christian, first you had to become a Jew. In Acts chapter 10, Peter's preaching to the first Gentiles that will become Christians. And he recognizes in verse number 34, he says, God's not a respecter of persons. And he goes on to say in verse number 35, but in every nation, whoever fears him and works righteousness is accepted by him. And so he preaches the gospel message to these Gentiles. Now, keep in mind, for many people, this would be a very difficult thing for them to comprehend that Gentiles could become Christians without first keeping certain Hebrew laws and entering into Christianity through Judaism. But what happens? Verse number 44, while Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit fell upon all those who heard the word. And those of the circumcision who believed were astonished as many as uh, came with Peter because the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out on the Gentiles also. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then Peter answered, Can anyone forbid water that these should not be baptized who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? And so here, Holy Spirit baptism were, was given to the first Gentile converts as a sign that Gentiles could be accepted into the kingdom of God. Now we're going to look at one other case tomorrow in Acts chapter 19 to point out that there is a different mode of operation. Join us again.